So for the uh, Vision API and being able to plug that in, as well as uh, GPT-4 Turbo, moving so much faster and the longer memory realistically you can create a ai um i don't want to say the word bot but basically a essentially your computer can watch itself or your app can watch itself. And so what that means for developers and for tech and or even for the average user is no longer um, will we, and this will take a while for us to catch up and really utilize this, but eventually no longer will we have to utilize um, pattern recognitions and um, certain tags and text and descriptions and all these extra little like manipulations of algorithms or all these different things that are just purely based off of code and now in theory we will be able to train algorithms to literally operate as if a person with common sense and knowledge and a hell of a psychology degree is watching the content because it doesn't matter if the caption in a post for instance on tree says uh, dog video but then the and the tags are dog video but the video itself is of a person playing golf and there's no dog realistically our best bet is using image recognition software and comparing based off of patterns to really realize that um, the content and the descriptions and text do not match but using the vision API now literally GPT within a um, millisecond can say that's a golf video and that's a description about dog this person doesn't even know they don't match and also, let's say you do a video of uh, you playing golf, um, but your description is just, what a nice day. Well, with the Vision API, it can literally just automatically know it's a golf video. So basically, that Vision API is going to be able to be doing tons of amazing things. I'm just talking about a reference to Tree um, because I was waiting on this. I actually literally was talking about or researching how to use the Vision API fully uh, like two weeks ago and now I'm seeing how easy it will be to use because it just came out for the dev day. But the capabilities of this Vision API is going to be nuts. Um, now lastly, the module, um, basically they're saying new multi-model capabilities. Basically what they're talking about is like Dolly 3, text-to-speech, um, Bing or browsing or whatever the hell, um, all mixed in one. Now, basically, GPT-4 can do everything without you having to switch models. Cool, expected, it's kind of annoying having to switch anyway. Obviously, that is part of the progress of this, so I don't want to discredit that, but on the same time, like, realistically, like, you know, we were already moving that way anyway. It just makes it more convenient. And then, of course, the big thing everyone's talking about is that GPT store, um, which, you know, they're comparing to being the new app store. I could say possibly. You know, when I first read it, I'm like, nah, man, it's not going to be uh, the new app store because, quite frankly, it's just a whole bunch of pre-built, you know, chat models. But if you think about how it will progress over time, you know, they're already letting the GPT API interact with the real world, which basically is just manipulating data sets right now. But over time, as that API is increase and increase and increase, in theory, your GPTs will eventually be apps. And you could download a GPT that's uh, automatically monitors uh, a stock or something or you could download a GPT that automatically checks your voicemails for messages I mean in theory those GPTs over time will be 
apps because as the APIs and the real world starts becoming more and more interactive with uh, the language processing, then over time, those GPTs will have more and more functionality besides just being a pre-instructed uh, bot. So yeah, the GPT store will be crazy. GPTs will be probably to a degree like apps. And um, I do think there'll be multi, multi-millionaires made actually probably in the next six to 12 months, literally off of making GPTs. Um, is it something I'm really pursuing heavy right now? No, is it something I plan on using? Yes. Um, but I do see those GPTs really becoming a new marketplace. Now, the last thing that I, I do want to contemplate on this um, is at what point is the GPTs going to run into a wall that they can only fun function in the chat GPT app and not function as its own app within the device? That's gonna be the real question. I haven't thought about it long enough, but I do think that's where uh, Sam and OpenAI is gonna end up running into. Um, but all in all, man, the dev day, I mean, it's badass, but they're badass. Like, if you think about it, that's what's making things crazy right now is the AI is making the AI better. So that's why these uh, releases are happening way faster. And when I heard an interview from uh, Sam the other day, he was literally saying that they're rolling out slow too because this is such a new concept for humanity that quite frankly, you can't give them everything all at once because they have to get used to the basics before they can start messing with the advanced capabilities. So they might actually already be cooking on quite a bit more features and that's why they're releasing so fast fast but you know i mean what it's been a year of like hella releases every couple months out of open ai so they clearly you know they're just top dogs and i would say you know under 50 um right now altman i mean sam sam's a dude man he is he doesn't have the charisma maybe of uh elon or or like a steve or, or somebody like that but man they are moving right now Dev Day is crazy. Their press releases are wonky. The press conferences are slightly wonky too, and I'm not hating on them. But as far as I'm concerned, their features and what they're shipping is badass, man. So, uh, yeah. If you want to go make some money, man, go make a GPT. Thank you.